Good morning. It is time for another three minute manna. Our reading today comes from Luke chapter 5. In Luke 5, as Jesus called those three men to be fishers of men, the Lord would come upon those three men as they were there at the sea mending their nets, and the Lord would tell Simon to cast his net out into the sea. Simon says they'd been fishing all night and they hadn't caught anything. But Simon had the right answer when he said, Nonetheless, at your word that they would obey. And all of a sudden, they had more fish than they could possibly handle. Do you remember Simon's reaction to that? Simon in verse 8 will say, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. But the Lord wouldn't depart. Rather, the Lord would tell Simon and the Lord would tell James and John with him. In verse 10, Do not be afraid. From now on you will catch men. You see the Lord using that same phrase repeatedly through Scripture, throughout Scripture. In Matthew chapter 14, as the Lord walked on the water, as all those disciples were in that boat, as the apostles were in that boat, and there was a storm overhead, and they were rowing into the wind, and they weren't getting anywhere quickly, and all of a sudden they looked up and they thought they saw a ghost, but it wasn't a ghost. All of a sudden a voice called out, and it was the Lord, and He said, Be of good cheer. It is I. Do not be afraid. Just three chapters later in Matthew chapter 17 as Jesus was on the Mount of Transfiguration. As Peter, James, and John woke suddenly and Simon Peter says that they were going to build three tabernacles, one for each fellow, Moses, Elijah, and the Lord. And the voice from heaven said, all of a sudden came and said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. But as the cloud departed, and there they were with Jesus. It says that Jesus came and touched them. And the Lord said unto them, Do not be afraid. Many years later in Revelation chapter 1, as the Apostle John was on the island of Patmos, in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and all of a sudden he heard a sound behind him, and he turned around and he saw the Lord in that awesome picture of him. And it says the Apostle John fell down at his feet. And it says that the Lord laid his right hand upon him. And the Lord told him, all those years later, the Lord told him, Be not afraid, I am the first and the last. If you put all of those accounts together, what do you find? You find that if we will own our sins, bringing them to the Lord, then we do not need to be afraid. If we will recognize him for who he truly is, then we do not need to be afraid. If we will listen to Him as God's Son, then we do not need to be afraid. If we will follow Him, then we do not need to be afraid. If we will worship the Father through Him, if we'll worship the Lord acceptably, then we do not need to be afraid. The Lord would talk about not being afraid two other times. Before he went to the cross, he would tell the disciples, Do not let your heart be troubled. Be not afraid. And then as he came from the tomb, he would say the same thing. Do you remember what the angels told those women as they came to the tomb? The very first words out of their angelic mouths. Be not afraid. He is not here. He is risen. Follow the Lord. Obey the Lord. Turn from your sins and you have no reason to be afraid. Perfect love casts out fear. I hope you enjoyed this study this morning. God bless you. Be a blessing to someone else. We hope to see you tomorrow morning.